Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're going to talk about GitHub Copilot's new coding agent. This coding agent has released like a couple of weeks before, and I wanted to really try out this GitHub Copilot and see how exactly this GitHub Copilot's coding agent really works. We know there is GitHub Copilot and there is also a new GitHub Copilot's coding agent. So this is entirely different from the Copilot itself because you know that the GitHub Copilot is something that you can actually use with your, uh, with your Visual Studio for that matter. So it's just gonna go over here in the chat. And then if you ask any questions on this particular uh, Copilot, it is going to answer you. And this is just gonna work for the free users. And if you're a paid user like me, you're gonna see some premium models and things, and then you can start working from there. That's how it is going to be working in the GitHub Copilot really. But the coding agent is a bit different. It is basically going to be running on the background for you while you create any pull request or if you wanted to review the pull request or even even if you wanted to fix some issues from the uh, coding agent you can do everything from here but once again this coding agent is not available for free you need to be at least a pro user uh, for using this particular plan because it is something only available for the paid user uh, over here at the moment so all you have to do in order to work with the coding agent is very very straightforward just be in the pro plan like a paid plan and then once you are there then you can start working with this uh, github copilot's coding agent and i will quickly show you how easy it is and how amazing they are actually working well, you are actually working with not just development, but also testing. So I'm going to be focusing mostly on the testing side this time. I will tell you how exactly the GitHub Copilot's coding agent is really leveraging the power of the AI agents and things. So over here at the moment, this is one of my application that I'm building and I'm actually showing this demonstration with the test sprite, which is an, another testing tool, which is fully using the power of the agentic agent. And that's exactly the same application, which I'm going to show you this time while working with the uh, GitHub Copilot's coding agent as well. In order for you to enable the GitHub Copilot's coding agent, all you have to do it is you just have to, uh, let's say, uh, settings over here. Uh, and then you can see that we have got an option over here called as Copilot. And if you see there are this uh, Copilot agent, uh, the coding agents feature, which is currently in preview state. And I have given the access to all the repository. That's it. And then you can see that they have got a lot of features in the Copilot, uh, which is going to show you these features. You just have to enable the uh, coding agent uh, feature, which is this one, the Copilot coding agent, which is currently in preview. I have enabled it over here. But if it is not enabled, if it is disabled, then you just have to enable it. That's it, right? This is the only thing that you have to do. And once it is there, then you can use it for the pull request and things. See, it's going to show you my premium records that I have made so far. Uh, so once it is enabled, I'm going to quickly show you one of the uh, repository uh, in this particular demonstration, which is going to be this particular repository. As you can see, the employee app over here, this employee app is pretty much the same kind of employee app that you are seeing over here. I have checked in the code. But the thing is, I have created some pull requests with the help of the GitHub Copilot's coding agent itself. So this is one of the pull requests that I have not really created. The GitHub Copilot has really created for me. The issue that I was actually facing with my application over here, if I just gonna run this particular application, which is this npm run dev, as you can run this over here, you can see that currently it's side aligned, it's not really center aligned. I wanted this to be fixed uh, into be center aligned. So that's what I asked the GitHub Copilot agent to do it for me. And I just raised an issue from here. And the moment I raised an issue, like uh, issue in the application with the center align over here, uh, and I just add some bit of a description here. And then I assigned this to GitHub Copilot over here. That's it. This is the only thing that I have done. The moment I do this, GitHub Copilot takes this particular tasks and then start fixing the issue of your application over here. As you can see, it's pretty much like a user uh, who is going to work on behalf of you and all the agents are going to be doing it for you. And you will be getting an email notification that once the, the, the issue has been picked up by the Copilot and once the issue is complete, you'll also get an email in your email which has been configured to this particular repository. And then you're going to get all the details like 
how that uh, the the information has gone through. You see that now this is the problem that we have, and there is also a solution which has been proposed by the GitHub Copilot coding agent, and it also shows an before and after state with a screenshot over here. And you see that this is the before state, and this is the after state of this particular code. And they also have got the employee list page, which is also a before state, and now it's an after state. There is no big difference between that. Uh, but you see that this is how it's showing you all the information over here. And you can see what exactly has gone through during the execution process in the uh, Copilot session, which is this one, the view session option. The moment you click this view session option, it's going to show you what exactly has happened during that particular execution uh, phase, like how the agent has really worked out really well. Uh, and you can see that this is the this is the entire session. See, it has gone through all the different codes, and then it tries to uh, perform the operation. Uh, and you see, this is the thoughts that it is trying to go through in order to fix this particular issue. And this is the progress that it is going through. And the most important thing that you will also notice is that it is also calling the Playwright MCP server browser navigate. So the moment you ask the, the GitHub Copilot agent to do anything, the coding agent is also configured with the MCP servers by default. So there are some MCP servers which are being configured automatically uh, with this GitHub Copilot agent. So if you just go to the documentation of the Copilot over here and you see that they also have got the extend uh, the the copilot with the coding agent with the mcp server so it tells you that these are the the model context protocol is supported by this particular coding agent and it also tells you that uh, by default it is going to be uh, calling the github coding agent and also sorry, the mcp server and also the playwright mcp server uh, for you over here these are the two things which is automatically available for you but you can also uh, do customization of the mcp servers of your own uh, within your uh, github as well like these as you can see over here and i've also done that for my repositories to use the test sprite so that it can be actually being used and i'll also show you how i have done that but over here at the moment, you can see that it has used the Playwright uh, MCP server to do the navigation to this particular URL and mainly to take the screenshots and stuff. See that it has used the run Playwright code over here uh, and then it is taking a screenshot um, using the page dot screenshot. Uh, and then it is also taking it for the before and the after comparison that you just saw. It is actually using the Playwright MCP server behind the scene. That is how it's actually doing all of these. Uh, and also if there is any conflict happens within your execution, then I can also tell, can you go and review the the conflict that is happening because of this particular merge conflict, something happening within a code is also gonna be useful for merging those. So this is how it is actually doing things for you, right? And now if I feel this is all looking pretty good, then I can just uh, go and I can just say ready for review and then I can merge the pull request over here because I know that this code is uh, looking quite well. Then I can merge it. That's how That's how it really is going to work over here. See that? These are the two people who have worked on this particular pull request. And now I also asked a level further question with this particular coding agent is to can you add some basic ui test for me so this is the basic test that i asked like currently the front end is missing the basic ui test with the playwright can you go ahead and build it for me and the moment i assign this to copilot there you will notice that it has written a bunch of things for me in this particular pull request so if you just go to this pull request look at that it has added the test for the login test operation, the employee creation, the test for search, uh, themes, the edit uh, operation, and the delete operation. So it has ended up writing all the tests and in fact has also attached an evidence to tell me that these are the tests which has been executed and they're all running as expected. And this is the file structure and these are things that it has done. So essentially what's happening in the GitHub Copilot coding agent is that it has got its own environment, like an ecosystem of all the configuration that is required for the coding agent to run on the particular machine. And then it runs the entire coding generation and also running the test for you, which is generated by this coding agent. And then it ensures that all the tests are currently working on R. So it has generated around 35 individual test cases with positive and negative scenarios. I have not written even a single line of code. It's all been done by the coding agent. And if you just go to the session over there, you can notice that it has worked for 26 minutes with one premium request for every single request that you ask. And you will notice that 
all the codes are being generated uh, over here. These are all generated based on the playwright uh, code that we have asked, right? Now we have got the entire test. And if I'm gonna go to the code uh, over here, uh, sorry, the pull request over here, and if I'm gonna go to the uh, playwrights uh, pull request, uh, and if I'm gonna go to the file changed, you will notice that it has made 13 file changes. So it has created a, um, a front end uh, folder where it has got the playwright simple uh, configurations. It has got the playwright configurations. It also has got the readme file change which have been brought into the test. And now it's also showing me all the different tests over here. All of these have been done for me by the GitHub Copilot coding agent, and I have not done even a single line of code. This is how you can see the coding agent is really gonna do. Just to show you an action, like how it actually works, let's say I'm gonna uh, ask a question over here to say, uh, I want, uh, maybe I'm gonna say, because this is an issue, I'm gonna say, missing, changing different color options in the uh, application. Right, so I'm just gonna say, currently the application is missing different color changing uh, options other than uh, black and white, something like that. And if I just gonna say this, like uh, it's basically like dark and uh, light mode, and if I'm gonna create this pull request, this is like a, sorry, create a re issue. You see that this is the normal way of doing it, right? This is how we create an issue. And we used to assign this particular issue to some of the developers if you really wanted to. But over here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna assign this to a copilot over here, which is the AI pair programmer. The moment I assign it, you see that now there is really, it's gonna be a new copilot being assigned and he's starting to work there. And he has a pull request for me, which is a work in progress pull request. And if I'm gonna go to this particular pull request over there, uh, you see that now it's gonna say that this is the original description that it has got, uh, and now it is starting to work. And in the meantime, I also have got the Amazon Q developer who also uh, actually work for me to create, uh, to review the pull request if there comes any, right? And now while the work is started by the GitHub Copilot's coding agent, I can go, click this particular view session, and I can see what exactly is happening in that particular session. See, it is spinning up a dev environment. So basically it is spinning up the entire machine, pretty much like a container running. Uh, and then it is setting up the MCP server, which are required for the execution of that particular operation that I have told. And then it is going to start doing everything for me from here. Uh, and you see that now it is looking at the repositories and things. You may ask Karthik, what if I wanted to configure this uh, environment which is executing uh, the, the co-pilot coding agent for me over there? You can also do that. You can also go and customize the agent environments over here, pretty much like how you do with the, uh, the YAML file of the GitHub Actions. The same thing you can do from here as well. You can just set up your copilot setup environment over here. You can set up the workflow uh, 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 with the copilot setup.yaml file, and then you can change the um, the settings that you wanted to run over there. And you can see that there is a permissions, runs, containers, and services. So you can do all of these changes from there. So these things, you can do it as well. This is especially required while you work with organizations and things. And also if you wanted to run the agents within a specific firewall settings, you can also enable that. So all of these, you can actually do it pretty much like how you do with the GitHub's uh, actions that you do. The same thing is happening over here in the, like, a, like a GitHub actions, but just that here, we call it a scopilot because you're also adding intelligence there where it is going to build things for you uh, apart from what you have got. So now that we have merged this, uh, a pull request there, I'm gonna go and see if my application is still working uh, without any issue or not. So I'm gonna say git uh, checkout main branch over here. I'm gonna just say pull. That's gonna get me the latest changes that I have got. And then I'm gonna run the application. I wanted to see if it is center aligned this time. Voila, look at that. The application is now center aligned, which is great. Uh, and it's it's just going to 
be working as expected. Look at that. So if I'm going to edit, yeah, everything is pretty much center aligned and I can see that it's just working as expected. So this is the power of the, the GitHub Copilot scoring agent for me, which is doing all of these operations without me writing even a single line of code, just one issue which has been created and GitHub Copilot agent is doing all of these for us. Scary, that's the truth. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.